Hello programmers! We're going to continue our discussion about graphing and plotting. Today I want to go over pie charts and bar charts. And we'll start by importing matplotlib.pyplot and instead of typing all that out multiple times in my program, I'm making an alias. So PLT is going to be short for that whole thing. And once you do that, then you can do the pi command to create your pie chart. And I'm going to just pause right there. We can see it's expecting x, which is going to be the vector which with the sizes of each of those slices of the pie. And then there are a bunch of optional input arguments that have names that go with them. I'm going to start with just passing in the size of the three slices of the pie and then do plt show and we'll take a look and voila we have created a pie chart with just a simple three lines of code. Um, I created a more in-depth example with pie charts where I wanted to label each piece of the pie. So I took a survey of my class, how many people like cheese pizza, and there were 10 of them, pepperoni pizza, there were 30, and mushroom pizza, and there were only five. So I have one vector with the labels, one list um, vector with the sizes of each of those slices of the pie in the pie graph. And then when I call the pie command, I'll pass in the size of each slice of the pie and then the labels and I'll just include labels are equal to and then pass in all these labels. And then sometimes with pie charts you end up getting more of an oval than a circle. So if you make the x and the y axis equal then it's going to be more of a circle. And every chart and graph should have a title so I'm going to label this favorite types of pizza. And Click save and run, and voila, we have a new and improved pie chart uh, about pizza pies. Cool. Uh, what if I wanted the slice color to represent what it's what it the color of the pizza is? So cheese pizza, yellow, pepperoni, red, mushroom, brown, something like that. Well, there's ways that you can, if you go back to your program, one of the optional input arguments was the colors that you would like each of those slices of the pie. So I can say yellow for the cheese pizza, red for the pepperoni, and there's a one character shortcut for black that's K. B is for blue. We don't want any blue pizza, but we'll do K for black and then take a look at that. Voila, looks pretty good. But I really wanted the mushroom to be more of a brown. Well, there are three different ways that you can specify the colors. They have these single character um, abbreviations for the color, and they also have legal HTML colors. Um, so like with websites, there's certain combinations of words like saddle brown, or fuchsia or green yellow that would be legal ways to specify the color of your website and I'm going to try saddle brown and I'll see a cool a nice brown color there and I wouldn't really want to change the cheese or the pepperoni color but I just want to show you the third way to specify um, the color is that you can specify using a hex string with how much red and green and blue you want in the color. So for example, I'm going to say FF and that's how much red, 1, 4, that's how much green, and 9, 3, that's how much blue I want in the color. And I had to look this up, that's why I'm looking down at a sheet of paper because it's pretty hard to memorize um, six different hex digits for a color. But if I run this, I'm going to see what that color is, and it happens to be my favorite color, which is pink. So I've now got a piece of that pie chart that's pink. Well, that's enough about pie charts. Let's talk a little bit more about bar charts. I'm going to pause my video and get an example on bar charts. Okay, voila. So I switched the pie command for a bar command, and then I'm passing in, this is how I would like the x-axis to be labeled. So I would like one bar corresponding with position uh, zero on the x-axis, one with position one, one with position two, and then this is the height of each of those bars. The first bar will be a height of five, then a height of three, then a height of seven. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. And we do have the 
bars are centered around zero and one and two, and here's the height of five and three and seven.